Beer in Costa Rica, Wikipedia article audio. Costa Rica has a very strong beer industry centered on mass-produced lagers. Imperial Beer, produced by Florida Ice and Farm Co. is known and associated with Costa Rica all around the world. Due to its geographic location, Costa Rica is not able to grow the raw materials for beer which hinders the growth of a completely local food product, and depends heavily on imported raw materials. History Craft Beer in Costa Rica In 1867, James Hasland, British, and Arthur Copper, German, opened a beer brewery in Cartago. Next year, 1868, the president of Costa Rica, José María Castro Madriz, requested that Carlos Johanning construct a brewery in San José. José Traub Tichy, born and raised in Saz, Bohemia, founded Cerveceria Globo in the late 19th century in Cartago which was later moved to San Jose and was known as Cerveceria y Refrescaria Traub. This brewery produced the Pilsen Traub, Selecta, and Pajaro Azul beers. On September 16, 1908, the three Lindo Morales brothers from Jamaica started in Sykeers, Lemon Province a company located in a farm called La Florida which until then was a major producer of ice and other agricultural produce. This company was called Florida Ice and Farm Co., inscribed in English due to their native language, which was the most common in the Costa Rican Caribbean by then. In 1912 Florida Ice and Farm Co. acquired Cerveceria y Refrescaria Traub with which the company started to brew its own beers, the beer known as Pilsen is the same as Pilsen Traub. Around the same decade, in 1914 an immigrant family from Spain, headed by Mr. Manuel Ortega, and his sons, Antonio, Eloy, and Manuel, were the owners of a bottled drink factory which used mineral spring waters from Salatrao, Santa Ana, San Jose and decided to start to brew the beers Imperial and Bavaria using such source of water. In 1957 Florida Ice and Farm Co. acquired the Ortega Beer Brewery, and continued the production of the Imperial and Bavaria beers to the date. Trademark Disputes Cerveceria Tropical, founded and owned by Cuban immigrants brewed Cerveza Tropical, in 1977 Florida Ice and Farm Co. acquired part of the company, and finally bought it completely in 1988, thus consolidating the beer production in the country in a single company. Until the beginning of the 21st century, there was no easy way to acquire or taste other kind of beer brewed in Costa Rica other than those produced by Florida Ice and Farm Co which reduced the available styles to industrial-scale lagers. The lack of local ingredients and not very clear laws restricting the volume of beer brewed by individuals or small companies, were also factors on the lack of variety. The now-defunct restaurant KNS in Curit Abat, which opened in 1997, started the production of craft beer for general consumption in its premises. After closing the restaurant, they continued the production of their beers Chivo Blanco and KNS Lager until 2009. The first microbrew pub in Costa Rica was established in 1998 in San Jose under the name Cabeza Grande. Cabeza Grande later closed the San Jose location and reopened on the shores of Lake Arenal in 2010 as Lake Arenal Brewery an Echo Brewery. The claim for Echo Brewery is supported by the brewery's use of solar power for 100% of their brew operations, the use of gravity-fed spring water, and the recycle of spent grain for their organic farm. Later, in 2010, 
Costa Rica Craft Beer Co. jump-started the trend by producing its own brands, Segua and Libertas, and several microbreweries started to appear in the next years, many of them guided by the experience of expatriate residents coming from the United States. Around 2012 a few companies such as Tico Berra and La Bodega de Chima started to import and sell to particulars the required ingredients, the equipment, and tools, and also started to teach in workshops how to brew beer. This accelerated the creation of new breweries. Since 2012, the Festival de Cerveza Arts Anal showcases the current brews in the craft beer scene of Costa Rica, its growth from 400 attendees in the first appearance to around 3,000 in the 2014 edition shows the significant growth of the industry and the newly acquired taste for different kind of beers for the local Costa Ricans. By 2014 the impact of the microbreweries on the local market prompted Florida Ice and Farm Co. to start its own craft beer division, called La Micro Brewing Company. In 2013, the microbrewery El Bujo Serviceria Arts Anal, started to sell their beer, Bujo, an imperial stout style of beer, however the trademark was not registered. In 2014, the microbrewery offshoot of Florida Ice and Farm Co., La Micro Brewing Company, started to produce and sell Bujo, a box-style beer, and registered the trademark name. A legal dispute was ensued, and the trademark office of Costa Rica, finally issued the trademarked name Bujo to Florida Ice and Farm Co. El Bujo Serviceria Arts Anal changed its name to Bora Brewing Company.